Hi everyone! I have been wanting to do another one of these because my last review from the Amoroso Boutique one was quite popular and I didn't expect that so I thought I'd bring out another review for another brand that I'm really strong about and kind of give you a glimpse into what to expect when you purchase from them. So I'll put the chapters in the bottom so that you don't have to listen to me ramble if you don't want to and you can jump straight to each individual point that I make so that it's nice and quick but if you're here for the overall review then welcome and I'm so excited to get started. So just by going to the About Us page on Portman's to give you a little bit of a background I've just pulled it up myself. So they are part of the Just Group brand which evolves around Peter Alexander, JJ's and a few others to say the least and they were established in Melbourne in the 1940s. So Portman's is kind of like a chic fashion label. They are majorly known for their work uh, fashion lines. Their workwear is what they're most famous for or in my eyes I look at Portman's as workwear basically. It's where I've always gone for my workwear. All of their clothing is modest, modern, chic, uh, formal, just very professional. So I really like purchasing from them when it comes to my workwear and I know a lot of other people at my job also wear portments so I really wanted to dive into basically this review. So especially today I didn't really want to go and throw on all of these outfits that I've already done before so if you haven't really seen much of Portman's clothes I actually did a little bit of a outfit inspiration video for workwear and for winter wear as well which I also wear Portman's with so I'll, I'll tag that in the video so that you can see exactly what Portman's looks like um, but I'm gonna be specifically focusing on ratings and basically what you should be expecting with those ratings in each individual category. I kind of wanted to have this video a lot more structured than my last one because the Amoroso Boutique one was very much just on the ball. I was kind of just doing my own thing but this one is much more structured. I have a plan of what I'm going to talk about and I have a plan on the specific uh, ratings that I'm going to be giving. So to start with we'll look at quality. So quality. Quality with Portman's I'm going to put as a 10. I have never had any issues with any of the clothes that I have in the wash so they've never come out stretched, broken, threading, just no damage at all and I've had these clothes items for up to two years so the quality is there if you're looking for something that is long lasting and something that doesn't really fade out. This might not be true for everyone, it depends entirely how you do your washing and how you do your care. All of the tags on the label of the clothing will have aftercare suggestions and methods. I personally don't really follow that. Um, am I lazy? Yeah, yeah, I will truthfully say that I'm lazy. Definitely if you want to get the most out of the products, definitely read the labels on your bloody clothes because if you don't you may end up with basically getting those issues with the threading, the discoloration, the stretching, the shrinking, like those things you really, yeah, read the tag. Moving on. Affordability. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So Portman's is a very big and good brand. And because the quality is there, the price is not always gonna be what some people deem affordable. Price-wise, if you're looking at a pair of pants for work, you'd be looking at $70 plus for a non-sale item. And yes, the quality is there, but the price can be very triggering for people. Personally, when I see a pair of pants that are $70 to $80 plus, I am not inclined to want to go buy them. I wait for the sales. The sales can sometimes bring them down to $60 or below, and I find that just a little bit more justifiable in my opinion. The blouses can go from $70 plus, the jackets can go from $100 plus. I think this jacket here was over $100 and I justified it because I was starting a very important corporate role and I wanted to look my best so it also depends on why you're buying the clothes. But I recommend Portman's if you just want to spend a really big amount once off and have this garment for a few years. So it just depends on your budget and your bracket but overall you're looking at $70 plus for most regular items. Affordability I would probably give a rating of 6 out of 10. I feel like the prices are yeah justifiable but they're not affordable and today's economy just doesn't cater for this kind of spending especially if you're in a role that requires you to wear quite formal wear. So I think it's a 6 out of 10. It does offer afterpay, zip pay and all of those functions but really if you're somebody that is trying to stay debt free 
then yeah, this isn't really as affordable as I think it should be. Range and sizes. I am a size small to extra small. I range in a lot of different places. At Portman's, I have always stuck to my size and I've found that I have always been successful doing so. If you are a larger size, I cannot vouch to say if this is going to apply. So it really is tailored to the individual. But in terms of the availability of sizing from what I've seen, I think that they have done well. And I'm going to give that one a eight out of 10 for sizing. They do have sizing guides like most sites do. So definitely check that out if you're a little bit hesitant as to if you're going to go a size up or a size down. So just see what kind of sizing ranges they have for you if you do decide to shop with them. Availability is definitely dependent on if you're going to shop on a sale or not. In terms of going into the store, there is plenty of sizes and ranges available and the sales racks are there too. So if you do find something on sale, it's gonna be in those racks. Availability, I think is there. So I'm gonna give availability a also eight out of 10. I do think online needs to be a little bit better, but I know that because it's on sale, you really just have to be in luck. Because for me, I've never found that the same skirt I looked at yesterday was available two days later. It's that popular because of the affordability issue where nobody can really afford to pay $100 for a work skirt when it's on sale for 70 below. So I think that that's where the availability can kind of get a little bit iffy. But if you're onto it, you know that you can spend $70 and you need a sales skirt, just get it when you see it because the minute that you ponder on it is gone. There's no opportunities anymore. And finally, customer service. So my experience in the stores hasn't been too good in my region. They didn't do anything wrong. It's just a very different experience when I've gone next door and I've come out and I've been greeted, I've been checked on, I've been assisted without having to reach out and do that. Uh, as someone that has worked in customer service, I think that's huge and you can tell the difference when you do that. For some introverted people, they prefer it when people don't talk to them. And sometimes I do, but when it comes to going into somewhere where generally you will need some assistance, I think that that's where that could be improved. The online customer service, I haven't had any experiences with because I've never had to return anything. So this topic is a little bit uncertain, I suppose. So overall, I'll give their customer service a seven out of 10. I think that there is some room there to basically improve, but in my experience of that store, it hasn't been phenomenal, but online it's been great. So I have no real reason to complain and I'm not. I am just saying that as again, someone in customer service I just think that there's a little bit of things that could bring out a better experience when shopping there. My overall rating for Portman's is a 9 out of 10. I think that they have scored so high in their quality and their range but in terms of affordability and the customer service side I feel like there could be some jiggle room there so I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 and I thank you all so much for watching and this has been really fun to do. I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you next Sunday. Thanks, bye!